This video is an overview of DeFi and airdrop farming on Mode Network. Mode is a fast-growing Ethereum Layer 2, and honestly it has some of the most interesting airdrop farming opportunities that I've come across recently. The entire network has a chain-wide points program, and then many of the individual applications on Mode have points programs of their own, allowing you to qualify for two or even three airdrops at once by using some of these applications. In this video, I'm going to show you how. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. As a reminder, nothing in this video is financial advice, and any cryptocurrency applications carry risk, so be sure to do your own research before trying any of the strategies in this video. Now let's get into it. To start, let's get a bit more into exactly what mode is and what sets it apart. It's branded as the Modular DeFi L2, and I'll break down exactly what that means bit by bit. L2, Ethereum Layer 2, Mode is a layer two network that settles onto Ethereum designed to help scale the Ethereum network. And specifically, it's built on top of Optimism. So you can think of it as an, a network that functions similar to Ethereum. You can deploy Ethereum-based applications onto Mode, but it's much faster and cheaper. Modular means that they borrow different blockchain components like the data availability layer, execution layer, and settlement layer based on what's going to be best performance for their specific use case. And the specific use case of mode is actually DeFi. So the chain is all about being optimized for DeFi and for supporting its DeFi ecosystem. But where I think mode really stands out is through their economic mechanisms. So the entire chain right now has this massive points program to go towards the ultimate mode airdrop. You can see that they're advertising it in the banner at the top of the screen. They're not being coy about it. They're not being a secret. Uh, that's part of the uniqueness of this chain is that it's basically one giant game theory economic experiment incentives program for example there's a referral program just for using the chain itself and there's a lot of interesting things you can do and i think that these incentives are what make mode so interesting to me personally so for example if you bring liquid restaking tokens over to mode then you'll earn mode points You'll earn yield. You'll earn yield for the applications you deploy those liquid restaking tokens on, and you'll earn eigenlayer points. So you're earning all these different points, and you're earning all this different yield, potentially through a single pool that you're deploying funds into. And I'm going to talk about some of those pools in this video. And they already have a pretty robust DeFi ecosystem. There's a number of applications that have already launched. And again, with many of these applications, you're both earning points towards airdrops for those applications themselves and also towards the entire mode network. And since there's so many incentives for using mode DeFi, it shouldn't be a surprise that they've attracted a lot of deposits. Since launching in late January, the total value locked in mode DeFi has grown from zero up to $176 million, and that's quite substantial. And recently, Mode has started to attract applications from other DeFi ecosystems. For example, Velodrome, the largest decentralized exchange on Optimism, recently announced that their first expansion outside of Optimism would be to Mode Network. And if all of this sounds interesting, you may be thinking that you want to get in on some of these incentives, you want to try out Mode DeFi, here's how you can do so. First thing you'll need to do is add Mode to your Ethereum-compatible wallet, MetaMask, for example, but this should work for most other wallets as well. Go to chainless.org to do that. This is the best place to add any Ethereum compatible network to your wallet and search for the network you want to add. I'm going to search for mode in this case, and then you'll simply connect wallet and then click add to wallet. Mode is already in my wallet though, but it's really that simple. And again, this works for any Ethereum compatible network that you want to, you want to uh, add to your wallet. Next thing you'll need to do is you're going to need an invite code to mode. So if you go to app.mode.network slash early, then you're going to want to make sure you're earning points if you do this. And so you can either search on Twitter for other people posting their invite codes, or I'll drop one down in the link of this description. And once you've done that, next thing you're, you're going to need to do is to actually bridge some funds to mode. The canonical mode bridge is at app.mode.network and then select bridge in the top right. And this lets you bridge a variety of tokens from Ethereum, ETH, Easy ETH, Wrapped ETH, USDT, USDC, and a few others. And then you can bridge over through the mode bridge like this, or you can also use 
orbiter. An orbiter is nice because it also allows you to bridge from some chains that are not Ethereum itself. So for example, if you want to bridge from Optimism, you can do so on Orbiter. And that's nice because the Ethereum fees, if you look here right now, it's about $54 in, in transaction fees to use this bridge from Ethereum itself. So personally, probably going to use Orbiter to bridge to mode. And then once you're on mode, you probably want to check out some of the many DeFi applications. First place you can go to find DeFi applications on mode is going to be to DeFi Llama, DeFiLlama.com slash chain slash mode. There's a whole bunch here. Or you can go to the mode.network and go to the airdrop section, and then you'll see a list of applications that are earning boosted points for the airdrop and exactly what you have to do to earn those points. And most of the applications I talk about today are going to are gonna fall into this list right here. The first DeFi application to check out on mode is going to be Renzo. Renzo is a liquid restaking protocol. Restaking is when you deposit into a protocol like Eigenlayer that reuses staked ETH to also secure other networks. And a protocol like Renzo that's liquid restaking allows you to deposit into Eigenlayer while keeping your ETH liquid. And part of the problem with staking on ETH mainnet like many people do is that the gas fees are expensive so Renzo also allows you to restake through various layer twos and mode is one of those layer twos. So you can stake your ETH on here for easy ETH and you earn Renzo easy points and you earn eigenlayer points. And I think both of those are likely to, to result in some sort of airdrop eventually. However, note that both of those protocols are heavily farmed at this point. And so, so there's definitely gonna be some dilution in the airdrop, although I also expect the airdrops to be relatively valuable. Another way to put your ETH to work in the mode ecosystem is to bring it over to Sturdy Finance. Website is sturdy.finance. And what Sturdy does is it has isolated lending pools, but with shared liquidity. And it's important to isolate them because that isolates the risk between assets. However, it doesn't fragment liquidity and it does this using a two-tiered architecture that involves both individual silos for specific assets and then aggregators for those assets. And I'll put a link to this as I am putting a link to all the protocols down in the description if you wanna read about the mechanics in more detail. But this is what the website looks like and there's a couple ways you can put your ETH to work here. First is they have this Renzo aggregator on mode. And what you're doing here is you are lending wrapped ETH and uh, you're, rending, you're lending it out to a pool that, that then uses it in Renzo in a strategy and currently there's a lot of demand to borrow that wrapped ETH because the APY is 37%. That's the base APY. On top of that, you're earning sturdy tokens with 2.66%. You're earning mode points and then you are earning easy points as well. So you're also getting some qualification for both the mode and the Renzo airdrops in addition to yield. So you're basically putting your ETH to triple use here. We can also go over to this silos section at the top to see more strategies on mode. I'm just filtering to mode over here. They have easy ETH, WE ETH, wrapped ETH, and USDC. And the way that these silos work is that each silo operates as a mini lending market consisting of a single lending asset and a single collateral asset. So for example, you might have a silo where users can only lend or borrow USDC and can only use ETH as collateral. And each of these is isolated, and basically the reason for this is that it isolates the risk. So if you are depositing into this silo, you don't have risk to something going on in this silo. There is, of course, still protocol risk for any of these protocols, but, in, but you're not, you're not uh, subject to any specific pool risk if something were to happen with this pool. So for example, this one pool, you can provide easy ETH as collateral, and then you can lend and borrow wrapped ETH. And currently the APY for lending this is extremely high, 45.81%. Also the APR for borrowing it is similarly high. Uh, but no, if, you, if you're lending out here, you are earning mode points, you're earning easy points, uh, and then you're also earning yield. So it's another good opportunity. The next protocol to check out on mode and another airdrop opportunity is Kim Exchange. Currently, Kim Exchange is the largest decentralized exchange on mode. You may need it anyways because if you're swapping any tokens, 
uh, you're probably going to use Kim Exchange, and they have an ongoing points program. So they have a leaderboard here. You can see that there's points that different wallets have right here. They update periodically, and you can earn them by providing liquidity. And some of the pools, for example, you provide liquidity on would be ETH USDC, Easy ETH, ETH, ETH Wrapped BTC, and then, and then there's a whole bunch of other options as well. And you can see that some of these pools are actually boosted. The next DeFi protocol to check out on Mode also has an ongoing points program, is the largest lending market on Mode, and that is Ionic, website ionic.money. If we look here, then we can see that they have an ongoing point system that you get for supplying, supplying funds for borrowing, and you can actually stack and earn more points by both supplying and borrowing. So that means there's an opportunity, for example, to loop strategies to supply, borrow, then resupply. Although whether that is worth it is going to depend on the specific APRs. And I think this is pretty cool because again, you're going to earn both mode points for participating in Ionic and you're going to earn points towards Ionic itself. And if we look on here, we can see that the top asset right now is Easy ETH. And I imagine part of the reason for that is that you're also earning Renzo points for this. So you're earning, you're not earning any base APR right now, but you're earning Ionic points, you're earning 2x the mode points, and you're earning 2x the Renzo points. I'll zoom in a bit. And so this is what I was talking about before. Again, now you're farming three airdrops at once just with a single deposit. And personally, huge fan of this sort of thing because it just lets you put your, put your funds to work better. Next protocol is Ironclad Finance. Ironclad Finance is another lending protocol on, on mode. We can check it out here. And like these others, they also have an ongoing points program. Uh, to, to join the points program, you will have to sign a transaction. But once you do, then you can start earning points by supplying funds, borrowing funds, so on, so forth. And they actually have pretty good APY for supplying ETH on here. Although, of course, you won't qualify for that Renzo airdrop if you do so. Uh, but, but you can weigh whether you think that it would be more advantageous to just to supply ETH or to supply easy ETH here. Uh, but this is another one that may be worth checking out because like these others, other protocols, they have an ongoing points program and you can also qualify for that mode airdrop by depositing into here. Final protocol that I want to share today is LogX. So LogX is a perpdex on mode. It's also a perpdex on a number of other L2s and they have an ongoing airdrop program as well where you earn LogX tokens by trading. And you can see here that they have they have uh, a million LogX tokens weekly. Mode is one of the chains that it qualifies, that you can qualify on. And so if you're looking to do some trading on Mode, looking to build some volume on the trade chain, then you can do that on LogX. And they actually have an ongoing specific Mode Denkun showdown as well. So if you are trading on Mode, then be sure to check that out. If you want to learn more about airdrop and DeFi strategies, be sure to check out my newsletter, dynamodefi.substack.com. Each week I send out the latest trends, on-chain analysis, yield farms, and more tools to help you in DeFi. And for more videos like this one, be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.